couple of months later I was like you know what I would like to try out the red thing because you know I never really went and did that red thing Rihanna was preaching to us about so I went to try the splav splav air I don't know what is inside that thing but it is not it's not for the week of hearts um, uh, I pulled that thing in my hair how my hair was tomato red cherry red everything red everything yeah Every time I wash my hair, it's like somebody died in the bathroom, bathtub because the thing is saturated, it's concentrated, it's conk. So I had that whole red thing. And you know, it's, they said it's semi-permanent, I think. Yes, they said it's semi-permanent. So you're trying to, okay, I've gotten over the, okay, I've seen the red, how red look on me, it's cool like this. So I want to wash it off. It's semi-permanent, right? So I'm washing out every time. I, I was looking for every opportunity to wash my hair so that I could wash off the something because i mixed purple and red and got the color i got anyway i was trying to get rid of the red tea. it was looking almost like pink it wasn't washing off thing is now the thing about red is by your time your the hair starts your the original hair color starts to come out it looks doesn't look very tidy i'm not saying that the blonde looks tidy either you know but <sighs> red and black there's a way it looks on your head <laughs> maybe with my skin tone it doesn't really go so um, i eventually bleached out the whole red and went back to my blonde i watched the wendy williams show and you know how we girls do we're always looking at other ladies and trying to get style ideas from them so i love watching the wendy williams show there's that thing where they pan across the audience and you get to see other you know black ladies and you know what, what they're wearing and how you can ideas you can pick from them and there was this chick I, I can't get the footage now but there was this chick I saw she had locks and she had it in she had different colors like two different colors there was red or was it a kind of red copper and purple it was beautiful I was like oh yes sister I hear what you're telling me I go to the shop and I buy the color copper and purple I say so this was I go to do. I put purple and put copper. Purple, copper, purple, copper. That was that was good. That was my plan. Okay. It makes sense to go to the professionals because that's what they went to school for. You know what I mean? So yeah. Mm, so I decided to do it by myself. Um, yeah, this was what it kind of looked like. <laughs> Everything turned to tomato red again. So I was back with red. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. Anyhow, so with the red again and then we wear and uh i rocked it for a little while thing is i got really tired of that red really quickly so i guess red is not my thing i don't know if you noticed but there was something about my locks back then the tips were like a bronze kind of color and the rest of it were like yellow and then really really yellow at the roots so i like that whole color situation color breakdown and color spectrum going on in my hair and i was like okay i want to go back to my blonde hair but i want to keep the red tips because my hair was already red so i'm going to keep the red tips i don't know what i was thinking because i took the bleach to the tips of my hair mm -mm. wrong wrong epic fail because now the hair was over processed because you have dye on it and then you're bleaching it again over process so i got a lot of breakage at the end of it my tips could my hair couldn't take it anymore my tips exploded and they were chopping off and there was a lot of shedding and yes and yes so i decided okay you know what no more hair color for at least a year now that's it for me as you and i'm happy to say i actually kept it for a year for a year i didn't touch my hair with color because i never had to heal This video is supposed to help you so you don't make those mistakes. Moisturizing, because that was another thing. I wasn't moisturizing it as much. As I thought, oh, it's locks. Yeah, to take care of yourself. Yeah, we don't know that conditioning thing. But because it's color treated and the hair is wondering, what just happened to me? They took off my clothes. I'm naked. Um, You have to cover it with moisture. 
I stopped using all these major major products. I started doing my own thing, mix my own oils. I started using tea, chamomile tea, peppermint tea, those two. I'll mix it. If you want a video of how I do my hair mess, I'll show you. If you want, just let me know. I'll mix this too with some oils. My simple oils are castor oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. I mix those three and then put it in this, put a little bit of it in the hair mist, shake it up with, of course, eucalyptus or peppermint, eucalyptus preferably, and then lavender oil for the scent and everything. Also helps with, you know, the hair situation. So I mix all of these oils and then spread all over my hair and, you know, that um, gives my hair life and that helps with the shedding thing. And that's what I, you know, put on my hair to help me out with my hair. So that's, those, those are the products I use. Uh, aloe vera gel, the, the natural one or that right there, mm -hmm. use that one. That product was the truth. Just pump it into your hand, rub it and take it down. If you're experiencing this hair um, situation, leave your hair alone, for real. The hair would, it would heal over time. And that's the way the Almighty has designed us. It will heal itself. Drink lots of water. That also helps because beauty is from the inside out. It, it needs help. Apart from what you're putting on the outside, it also needs help from the inside as well. Okay. Now sleep with your hair. I don't know. Some other people don't do that. But for me, uh, sleeping with my hair tied up in scarves, especially silk or satin scarves, really really help because it helps to keep the moisture in the cotton pillowcases will just you know you'll be rubbing your hair in the night and the cotton will be teething your oil so it's not good so keep your hair tied or if you cannot take the whole bondage of tying up your hair then sleep with satin or silk pillowcases if you're going to apply the color yourself because i know there are a lot of diy sisters who are doing what I do, <laughs> when you're applying the color to your hair, don't squeeze it into your lock, especially if you if you have thicker locks. Don't squeeze it in, just coat it in. And that's why they use um, the brushes. So you just coat it in the, you know, the outer lock. The insides don't need to be yellow or red or whatever color you're trying to put. They don't need that. Nobody's going to see it anyway. So for the ones outside, just coat the air. Don't squeeze it in. You know what I mean? Don't squeeze the dye into the hair, trying to make sure everything is saturated. Just coat it, okay? Because the chemical gets into the hair and weakens it over time and then hence the shedding. So just, you know, just coat it and when you're done, wash it off. Make sure you wash and wash till the water is clear. And any opportunity to wash, wash again, neutralizing shampoo, all of you that do all that stuff. So I want to talk another, about another thing. I don't know what it is with me and Gagne. This thing right here, because I thought it was just hair uh, color. Even their product does not like my hair. So I don't know if you can see it. Sorry. Maybe I'll look for a picture so that you can see the name very well. These people. Anyhow, for my kids, it worked perfectly. As in, it worked. It was really nice to their hair. I use this thing for my hair and I have been packing my hair on the floor as if, I don't know, I'm selling bread or something. I've just been packing my hair on the floor. Um, so I don't know what Ghani and me, what I did to them because they have been shopping my hair. That's, I will say it here. That's hair color I did that first time in Nigeria where I did the bleach and I did, what well, he shop my hair there. The time I used their hair bleach something, it shocked my hair. I use shampoo, it's not bleach, yeah. Oh. It said it's going to help your hair. It shocked my hair. So I don't know. Maybe you guys have you know different experiences. You know, like I said in my first video, everybody's hair is different. Like I said, I used to have my kids' hair and it was it was okay. No shedding, their hair is all soft and smelling really nice, whatever. But my hair, I'm packing it from the floor. The Lord will help us all. <laughs> this is my hair color story. I hope it helps somebody out there. And if you have more questions, <laughs> let me know and I will be happy to answer them. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to this whole rant. And uh, looking forward to hearing from you or seeing you in the next video. And until then, shalom, family. Bye. We are the children of the living God. Yeah, yeah. Listen.
Listen to the voices of my generation Listen to the children of the living child Oh, we don't want to fight wars no more No, no, we don't want to shed blood no more Oh, please, we don't want to fight wars no more